Cool. All right. Now I've got the recording going again, and uh, we can get back to the <clears throat> the uh, OSD, uh, add a flexible cache control of object data, a.k.a. IO hints. So if you guys want to take it away and give us an overview, that would be great. Hi, this is Jian Peng from Intel. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Uh -huh. Welcome. Yes. Okay. My, my BP is OSD and the flexible control of object data catching location. First, this is the overview of this BP. Based on CG's previous proposal, re readers our hint, we propose a general framework to to better control readers' operation that have special alignment, catch ability, and expect object size requirement. Translate those hints from client to readers. It makes readers to enforce intelligent allocation evacuation policy on memory disk usage. We sum up four benefits. One, avoid the file system fragmentation when run the RBD volume. We know when, when RBD images won't be created until a write happening. They might have much fragmentation if using random write. It makes the performance drop. The location RBD image at the same job size slow the, this program. Two, reduce memory on page cache by dropping large ob object out of cache. Save much memory for other purposes like unknown cache. Improve, seven, improve re response time by catching small objects in cache. Four, this, this framework can be easily extended to different use cases. For example, we might set up different cache policy for different client. <laughs> for a general purpose file system case, we should catch small file metadata. By dropping large object of out of cache, <clears throat> page cache can be hold more file system metadata. It will increase the performance. While in a big data handling case, some, some special database requirements might be more important. For example, the index of database table might be more important than the record inside the table. Next, the background. Lots of small files bring high overhead when look up in file this system. In each operation, Readers will get object info it needs to read I know the from VFS and the extend attribute. If if there are lots of small file, the the unknown miss mis re, re, ratio will go high. It will introduce much read man, read metadata operation for for it for it did as backend, the performance will drop largely. We find the easy run will introduce lots of red metadata operation. We using FDB, we found those read metadata are reading unknown. We set in broker since we have we have we have at catch pressure to zero. The performance increased from 72 to 82. This way to control the tendency of, of kernel to reclaim the memory which is you which is used for catching of direct and unknown object if set to zero. Kernel never reclaim entities and unknown due to memory pressure, but it will make O O M to E pressure. We have had catch pressure don't set to zero. Now open stack sweep. Now sweep, okay. stack sweep, sweep. Do you mind if I just a quick comment? If you set it to zero, I know the entries never get reclaimed, so probably one would be better. But uh, 
I don't know if it will make much difference, but just wanted to mention that. Yeah, I, th I think that the point is also just to, that um, the issue is that we're caching too much data and we want to favor caching inodes and D entries. Um, I wonder if it makes sense for Ceph to fiddle with those at all, or if this should just be documented in like a tuning guide. I'm never sure whether we want to like. <laughs> to, to yeah, this. I know, I know what you <laughs> mean. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. The, yeah. the one other the, one the other one comment um, on the on the third point, um, dropping the cache. So this is this would be F advise don't need, I assume. Um, when yes. we were using that in combination with um, a sync file range, then we ran into problems. We broke XFS. So we can't use, at least for certain versions, we can't use them together. Um, so I think we, we, would, we would have to be careful whether we do one or the other. So if we do, if we do F advise for this, then we make sure yeah, we can't use sync file range for um, improving the F sync performance. Like we have to keep doing F data sync. Um, but on the other hand, somebody was recently saying that they changed the F data sync in the right back throttler to use a sync file range. And that gave them a huge performance boost. So we have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> or probably we should talk to the XFS folks and get to the bottom of that interaction. <laughs> That's probably the real answer. Yes. Um, yes. Um, I like that one. So, because yeah, because we used to do this, right? We used to do. Well, we used to drop the replicas on the replicas. We sorry, we used to drop the page cache. Do F advise don't need on the replicas after every write, and we turned it off because it was corrupting data on certain versions of XFS. So. Anyway, we'll have to we'll have to revisit that at some point in QA. Continue so, now. Ubuntu yes. Legacy Web can drop a page after each write and the selective to drop page on large read. For example, object small than fifty NTPB are catch and object larger than this are dropped out of catch. The backing, the background is for large cluster storage. The the ratio of page hit is slow. I think Sif, I think Sif can adopt this venue. We saw the previous propose read those our hints. We thought read those our hints can help on this program. Next, this is a high-level introduction of general framework. From the left picture, in our in our proposal, we provide the client the ability to set the our hint and pass it from readers by by lab readers. The readers our hint engine will will accept those hints and dispatch to different backend. Different backend. For example, file store, memory store, kiwi store, we will handle those out hand accordingly to, to make the perform to, to make a good performance. For example, for a kiwi store, they might have some special requirement operation to support regular height. Next. This is about the changes. Based on the framework, we think the following changes we, we need. And the relative API in lab readers, we, we prefer to mirror off legs of advice. Our hint engine and, 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 and the handling plugin in readers. It can control hint handle in in write in right back throttle model with fine granularity different policy. This will location hint handle in different backend store. 
we will change the readout command command to first and uh, and use readout to test uh, the framework later we we are we are we are under API in lab in, in lab RBD, RBD kernel model, readers gateway, and 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 so on to make to make all client to make all client can use our hint. Okay. The current states mm -hmm. for 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 a location hint now already implemented. It 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 by pre prefix RBD right with 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 set set a location that will be OK. But uh, but we could uh, extend the his framework to support some other location feature. For for example, try if I delay well location. Mm -hmm. For for delay allocation, if the client are uh, writing on some short live files, they may never need to they may never need to be allo allocated. For P for PDCAD control hint, a simple uh, a simple implementation is done in write back through the model. It's only for replicated copy. But the primary copies will still hold the catch. I think the other will will think uh, in the future the client will read from the prime node. Its job entire page catch will will sync the object after 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 the first after the first door to to sync up at it will clean the Object in right in right back through to, but uh, but uh, but it will drop entire page catch because it don't record the granularity. I think we can enhance this with more fine granularity and at the object level. Because we can record the the offset and left. Okay. Uh, it don't drop page catch read, and uh, it and it it uh, and it don't drop page uh, for 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 erasure or it don't drop catch the parity data. I think we should uh, we should also. Drop the parity date of the right. Yes. Yep. That makes sense. Um, Next is the. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Next is the design tool. For catch hint, we just mirror what the what the F device doing. There are the following flags: no more sing, sequential random, no reuse. We will need, don't need all those. Uh, about how to do the, about how to pass those flags from lab readers to pool readers. There are two methods: one, and the field in the CFSDOP to store those flags; two, and the new OP like. Uh, 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 for, for for example, F advice because because those because those flag don't need the parameter, so so I think we prefer the first because it's simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to implement the three parts. Lab readers implemented API with those hint. Make a, make a client call those API and translate those flag to OSD. Client, how to call new API in lab readers? First, only implement read, read, readers. 
them the two. In implementation in other client, for example, ABD Reader's Gateway CFFF. What operation we should adopt those flags in readers? For right, for 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 write operation, read operation, they are come from client. For recovery, scrap, repair, and and uh, and the back and the backing and the, the back background uh, operation. We also we we also use those flaws. To make the to make the readers know the behavior, know know the our behavior. Only only setting the flag of object level at some situation may be not flag, flexible. So and other granularity, plus the level. We set a we set a global control in config op option. Control whose class the to free pitch catch after right read operation. This is the simple. And that that means that so the administrator would say after all writes I free the cache across the entire. I'm wondering what that would be used for. I mean I can imagine how that you would implement that. You'd add a config option and the OSD would add to every transaction it's sending to the low level, every transaction it sends down to the object store, to the file store, it would add that hint. But I'm not sure when you would do that or why, I guess why you would do that. Maybe if you have SSDs or something where you don't want to cache, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Pull it okay. off. <laughs> Okay. Control port like a e easy port to free pitch catch after write read operation. Volume level volume volume can have different catch policy, so make it, so make it a flexible. Next. From the right picture, the main section of our hands for 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 read one drop pitch catch after this team read control the reader ahead behavior because the reader because the reader ahead is a is a system, system control for little kernel if we can if we can control reader ahead for different object and I think uh, it will have good flexible and uh, make good performance. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, for fast, for fast door, and the and the handle in fa in fast door read after 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 read we 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 can adopt the, those flags. For write operation, the main function is whether let kernel catch data after sync. Because after because after sync, the 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 otherwise don't 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 cause performance drop. I think. Yep. That all looks that looks good. So, so Sage, uh, this is Yuan from Intel. For the cluster level drop cache, uh, we 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 think it's useful for um, uh, cluster with memory store. Right. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. And I can see it maybe on a on a per maybe on a per pool basis. Like if you have uh, an erasure coded pool that is all that you know is cold, then you might want to set that pool to always drop caches on all data. Because you expect that the access pattern is never going to repeat, and you want to focus on just caching inodes and d entries. Um, so that makes sense. I think that makes sense too. Okay. 
um, in the in the ether pad, I I made a few notes um, for I think I think basically making the radio stop operation mirror F advise almost exactly um, sounds perfect because um, we can that means that we'll <laughs> we'll be able to pass them through to the underlying storage layer um, if we want to um, and we can it's also extensible so we can always add stuff later um, so I think that's the right that's the right approach. Um, I put a link to the where in the Libratus interface. I think it would make sense to add that. There's the there's an object store, object operation structure that en enumerates all the operations that you do on that object. And so just adding AppAdvise to that class would would make sense. Um, yep. So I think that's all good. Yeah, I think there are a couple places where probably um, the the middle, like the OSD, is going to be adding these hints too. So regardless of what the client says, um, the OSD is probably going to want to do um, don't need on the replicas, or or on the erasure coded pools, we'll do don't need on the parity shards, for example. Um, unless we're degraded or something. And so, um, but yeah, I think that makes sense. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's all looks, looks like the right thing. So um, I think if you have um, probably the, the most um, controversial pieces are just um, the the part where you add it to the Libratus API and what exactly that call looks like and what arguments it has, and also the part where um, um, adding to Libratus API and adding to object store transaction, and making sure that in those two places it it um, it sort of has the right form and is reasonably general so that we can use other things also in the future. Um, and so I would probably do those two pieces first <clears throat> and then and then adding all the logic that will add hints in between and add clients that use it and so on. Makes sense. Um, yeah, OK. Do you have any Do you have any questions for us? Mm, I just thinking that the flag is, is it uh, too much. Uh, we have uh, I, from from PT I can see reuse uh, no no use and uh, many from process interface and uh, maybe we don't need it. Uh, it will uh, can't uh, for example uh, for RBD we maybe. Can't make use of this, and uh, it will confusing other users. Uh, it is too complicated. And maybe we can reduce it, reduce to three or four or or two. Mm -hmm. Well, you can certainly <laughs> ignore them, right? Um, yeah. But I think that the the most important ones I think are don't need, which means you drop the cache. Yeah. And um, random, which means don't do read ahead. Um, yeah, because it's uh, a little dif uh, different from uh, fire, uh, uh, between fire and uh, object in radius. Object may be smaller than a fire uh, in a local file system uh, in, uh, for, uh, for applica application usage. Yes, I mean that maybe uh, if you, we use the flags, we need uh, we will add too much OPs uh, for each OP. Oh yeah, maybe we oh uh, yeah maybe we have uh, more uh, volume level or pool level. Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe the opportunity to shout for one cat is so much like so if you don't know what you know what it's like there, I think you have to uh, uh, write about the right of Sorry, I I can't hear. Is you is your mic or using a different mic? It sounds like it's coming through a different mic or something. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Can you say again? Um, so I'll call my question. I think so. We have to provide a. We just provide an interface. So what what kind of uh, mm, Yeah. What, what kind of uh, um, operations we can provide it? Uh, we can provide what uh, as advice provided. So basically, you know, what what application will will pass the flag to the router power engine? Yeah. So I'm I'm looking at the the F advice options that are defined, and I, I think the don't need one definitely seems useful. The random and sequential ones seem useful. Although I maybe wouldn't see a sequential very often, but the random one certainly. The no reuse one, I I don't really understand when you would use that instead of don't need. Um, and the will need, like maybe would make sense because you would want to have a positive indication that you should cache it. It's better than no indication at all. So that one seems, it's basically the no reuse one is the one that I'm not sure about. Does that seem reasonable, how am I? Yeah, 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 it's reasonable. Um, Um, okay. Sam, do you have questions or concerns? Uh, can you hear me? Yep. Uh, no, that all seems reasonable. Gosh. I mean, the okay. the only thing is we, we have run into trouble with using some of the more exotic kernel options. So. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So I, so I, I, I put a uh, a link in the in the Etherpad to the the bug where we had data corruption when we used fadvise in combination with sync file range. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't refer to the doesn't point to the email exchange with uh, the XFS folks explaining why that was, but they could probably dig that up too. Um, so we'd want to. Make sure that the um, that the XFS backend has an option on whether it would actually do either sync file file range or F advice, so that you could only enable it if you have known safe kernel versions, or we could con concoct some test or something. Um, but maybe we'll leave it as as homework for for the Red Hat folks to. Um, Get to bottom of to get to the bottom of that issue and see if it's resolved in, for example, the rel kernels or the current upstream kernels, or if it's still a problem. So that was that was about a year ago when we saw that. There was also a problem with uh, allocants. Yes, but that one at least I think, yeah. To I mean, it's fixed. Allocants. I'm just saying that things tend to be poorly tested. Yeah. Yeah, and, so, and specifically this this issue was only on PowerFail. <laughs> when we saw it, um, so we have to we have to be careful. Um, I think the Wait, allocants actually. The, you mean the the uh, the allocant? The F advise and sync file range one yeah, from well, your. The allocant one didn't didn't require. That one. Yeah, that one wasn't right. Okay. Yeah, and my point was just that the testing is tricky. Um, but with the allocants, for example, we should. Um, uh, Re-enable. We should have some check for the kernel version, so that that the if the kernel version is newer than whatever it is, three point eight, 
um, or some other known good version, then it will turn itself on again so that we can actually do it. Well, if you do that, you're blacklisting known bad kernels, which yeah. I'm arguing may not be sufficient for such yeah. uh, rarely used options. That might be true. Yeah. I suspect the XFX folks have opinions on that too. <laughs> but OK. Um, OK, so our Do do you guys um, do you guys need any other um, input or help from us in terms of putting these putting patches together to do this, or um, I think the proposal is good. So it's just a question of getting it done in time for Hammer. That's a question for Juan or. On ping. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions? Or do you need help? Uh, we don't. We don't have questions. I think we can. We can first implement it uh, by ourselves and and mm -hmm. ask ask your guys to review the code. Okay. Oh, we currently have two or three people working on this. I think we might. Uh, on schedule. Sounds great. OK. Cool. So that I guess the one thing is the sooner we can get the, the API changes sort of uh, uh, available for review, the more time we'll have to make sure that they're sort of in the right direction. But but yeah, sounds, sounds good. All okay. right. So we're coming up to the end of the session here. We got everything we needed. I think so. All right. I don't see any questions coming in from IRC, so I think we're set. <laughs>